Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. But when we shoot each other in the street, the black leaders ain't nowhere to be found. Oh, we got problems with drugs. I'm going to show you. You got to listen. Don't rush me. You're getting taught class in session. Read it. Now, again, the point is not, we're not trying to say we got wings and we fly away. This is it's all it is. God is saying the messengers of God. He calls them angels. But all it is is just a different translation of that word. They didn't translate it. Yeah, the Holy Ghost. Go back to this. Yeah, we'll read it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost was God allowed what descended on Jesus when he came up straight away out of the water when he was baptized. What descended on Jesus? Like the Holy dove? Ghost, when he descended, the Holy Ghost descended yes. upon you. What do you think it is? Right? The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God himself. So you God the Spirit, God the Son, God the Spirit, you, okay. God the Holy Ghost. Gotcha. All of it is God. Okay. There ain't no That's the Trinity. God, it's only one. So the Trinity. It's no Trinity. No such thing. You just said Trinity. Yes, you said Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Actually, they say, I, um, I said that. You believe there's a Father, no. you believe there's a Son, no what Father. I'm is the Father, the, father, son, the Son, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. that's it's Trinity. All, it's all you see the same three? person. It it's the no, same person, that's the Trinity. It's, it's not a Trinity because uh, yeah, it is. the Holy Ghost is not a person, so it can't be a Trinity. You just said he was a person. No, I'm saying, no, the Holy Ghost is not a it's person. It's the Spirit of God, that's what it's you're saying. It's the Spirit of God. Okay, okay. Spirit what is Christ? What is Christ? Christ. Yeah. Christ was just a, uh, a messenger. You call say messenger. <laughs> he was just a body that God ordained down here. Is Jesus his son? And he was Is Jesus the son of God? Until the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Into, into that body. Uh huh. That's that, what made him the Christ. Oh, that's what he meant. When the Holy Ghost entered into that body. He was just a body yeah, when? in the beginning. But when the Holy Ghost. When, when did the Holy Ghost enter? Huh? When? When did the Holy Ghost enter? Yeah, when? The Holy Ghost, he was well, he was the Holy Ghost when he was Matthew when, one. When he was born, um while the Holy You Ghost said something about when he was in the water. I already heard you. Right. The, the water and you right. talk about the dove descent the, 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 the spirit that then it on well, Come on now. It descended on him like a dove. That That's dove. what you said. But you must have misspoke. It was already So there's two Holy Ghosts. No. The Holy Ghost was spoken of before it even happened. It had to happen the way it did because the prophet had already no, no, spoken no. how it would happen. So when the Holy Ghost yes. came upon him after he was baptized, after he was baptized, the Holy Ghost came on him. That had to happen that so, way. So it came on him. So it came on him after he was baptized. Yeah. It was not on him before. No, 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 don't, don't spoil it. We are gonna go to the Bible. No, the Spirit of God. Yeah. Let me read the Bible. That's confusing. Holy Listen to this. The Book of Matthew, chapter one and verse eighteen. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this world when, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. So hold on now. You said when he got baptized. But right now it says she was found of child, with child of the Holy Ghost. Not baptism. God didn't put the baby in there. God did not put the baby in there. Joseph put the baby in there. That's right. Joseph put the Go to verse 1. This is an easy thing to explain. Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. You ain't read Matthew 1. Hold on. Hold on. What's your name? I ain't got your name ready. How you doing? What's your name? I'm just listening. What's your name? Huh? My name is Holloway. Holloway. You, you, you love the word of God? You're a pastor? Okay. Not a pastor. I'm a uh, uh, minister. Yeah, okay. Matt, pastor, so minister. minister. All right. Go. Now, pastor, I expect you have read Matthew 1. What's the first verse say? What's the first verse say? Matthew 1 and 1. What's the first verse say? Read it. The book of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ. What that mean? Right. This generation, where it all started. Where it all started. Right. What does generation mean? The 
different generation. Yeah. It means y'all are gender when it all begins. Not gender. Like you, 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 you almost there. Yeah. Genetic. Yeah. Genetic. Yeah. Genetic. Yeah. Your genetic yeah. lineage. Right. So we're about to read the genetic lineage of who? Jesus Christ. See, so yeah, you, you, you understand what we're about to go with. Come on. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ. This book is going to describe the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Right. The son of David. Oh, call him the son of David. The son of David. The son of Abraham. Son of Abraham. Abraham begat Isaac. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Satan. Hold on, Satan. All right, Satan, go, go ahead. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas and his brethren, and Judas begat Pharaoh. So what are we doing? We're going through the genetic lineage of Jesus Christ. Now, you don't hear the women mentioned. You don't hear women mentioned. The, most of the time you read lineages in Bible, you don't hear women mentioned. So, look, they not... You think about it, how hard would it be to write the first book of Matthew if they went through every single woman's lineage too? Uh, yeah, they don't. They only go through they don't go through like, like Sarah's mother Sarah's mother and father. They not listed. Rebecca's mother and father, they not listed. They only dealing with the genetic lineage of Jesus Christ, which goes through your father. Right? Right? Okay. Let's jump down. I'm not gonna read the whole thing to you, but let's jump down to verse 16. Yeah. Verse 16. And Jacob begot Joseph. Now that Jacob ain't the 12 tribes of Israel, That's Jacob. Right. That's yeah. a different Jacob, right? I know all. You know, yes, a different Jacob, though. Yeah, I know the whole you know that, right? So Jacob begot who? And Jacob begot Joseph. Now who that? Who that? It's Mary. It's husband, right? It's Mary. one of the kings of. Uh, uh, no, this Joseph. Not that. Uh, no, uh, you talking about Old Testament Joseph. He said Jacob, not. See, you get confused. That's why I said, this is Jesus' father, Joseph. That's right? right? Yeah. Bring it right? Up. Read it again. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. That's the Joseph being spoken of. Wait a minute. Of whom was born Jesus? Hold on now. Of whom was born Jesus? Joseph and Mary. Read it again. Of whom was born Jesus? So we're reading all these verses about the genetic lineage of Jesus Christ, and it leads us right to Joseph. Not none of Mary's people are in this book right here. Am I right or wrong? Not men. Right. Only Joseph. And then, at the end, they didn't say, oh, her friend Joseph. They said, that's who she's a spouse to. That's who she's married to. That's her husband. We just went through 17 verses of Joseph's lineage. Three verse one again. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ. Why the hell they say that? And they ain't talking about Mary. Right. Why is it talking about the genetic relations of Joseph? That's right. And he was born of Joseph. That's Christ's genetic lineage. Right. Joseph come out of the loins of David too. That's His right. father came east of a king's lineage. Right. Right. Joseph's of a king's lineage, ain't he? Right. So guess what? When Christ is born, he's the king of Israel. That's right. 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 through his father. That's the easy part. I'm trying to make it easy. I know you didn't read Matthew. Now let's go advance. Now we're going to level two. Level two now. Hold on with Hold on. Level two. This is the book of Acts, chapter 2, and verse 29. Bring it out, yeah. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David. Of the patriarch David. Now, I'm going to have him hold that. Go back to what we read, Matthew 1. Read that again. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David. Oh, they call him the son of David. We have to explain what that means. People don't know what it means to be the son of David. That's Read right. It. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him, that out of the fruit of his loins, hold on, that, went, that out of the fruit of the loins, bring it out. Your loins is, we adults, that's down here. Right, the fruit right. of your loins, right. the fruit of your loins, sperm, right. sperm, read again. Uh, that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, hold on, according to what? According to the flesh, the spirit, the flesh, yeah. this flesh, bring it on. Read. He would raise up Christ to sit on His throne. He said, "Through your genetic lineage, through your loins, through your seed, would I raise up Christ to sit on the throne?" That means it's not going to jump 
to any other person's lineage, it's going to come from the son of David, which is Solomon. Which we read in Matthew. We didn't read it, but you know it's in there. Solomon begat Rehoboam, right? According to the flesh. This is my flesh, right? You can see that it that it exists. Yeah. Through the spirit, it's a different. It's a different thing. God calls us sons of God. Yes. Only because of before you get that. Before you get that in Genesis with Abraham, I want to say this is if something. We are I'm, of the spirit of God. Yes. He calls. I'm glad you're a minister because you can you can relate to this old adage, this old saying. You know about Abraham and Sarah. Now I, I found a correlation. Abraham said, uh, hey, my wife is too old to have children, mm -hmm. right? No, but no pastor, no pa exactly, but no pastor on earth says an angel came and put the baby in, there, in uh, Sarah's belly. No, no, Abraham no. went to his wife, no, right? No, no, Read no, this. No, no, now, watch, now watch this. Now watch this. Here's where you don't need, the same thing is said to Abraham as it said to Mary Joseph. Watch this. This is Genesis chapter 21 and verse 1. Bring it up. And the Lord visited Sarah. Oh, no, what? And the Lord visited Sarah. Hold on, now the Lord is showing up to visit. Then he, then he put a seed in the woman. Did the angel go and go put a seed in the woman? Did he have Abraham. angelic interference? That's the same way Joseph got you. That's right. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Now listen to the words that the Lord did unto Sarah. Now why ain't you saying that? Sarah got immaculate and conceived no, no, or uh, Mary, immaculate and pregnant. Read it again. Bert, it's the same thing. No, it's no, the same thing. No, no, Read it again. Genesis chapter 21 and verse 1. Huh? And the Lord visited Sarah. Didn't Lord visit, visit Sarah? So Abraham had nothing to do with it, right? But Christians got the mindset. They know that was a flesh thing. You don't come up with babies out of nowhere. No, right, that right. was a flesh thing. Bring it out. As he had said, uh -huh. and the Lord did unto Sarah. Why aren't you saying the Lord slept with Sarah? Because you know it ain't talking about no, sex. Lord, you know that seed came Lord, from Abraham and went to Sarah, Lord, right? Sarah. Exactly. God, and God did not Abraham sleep with Mary. Did God Sarah. sleep with Mary? Did God, God sleep God, with Mary? God, did God have sex in adultery with Mary? No, God don't have sex. He put the baby in there. That's called sex. I mean, he spoke it into Mary. So he spoke it. He spoke it. He, he had sex with it. You going into magical fairy tale land? Go ahead, read that. And the Lord did unto Sarah as He had spoken, and Sarah conceived. Says Sarah conceived. Now it don't mention Abraham not one time, but you even your Christianity no don't make no sense for Abraham not to have sex with Sarah. The Lord Come on. And Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son. And bear who? And bear Abraham a son in his old age. So what he did, what happened? God made, like you say, made a way, made a way out of no way, but it didn't have to mention, oh, he had sex with her. You just already knew. You already know right. it don't make no sense Mary's for child, Abraham not to have Mary's sex with Sarah. That's how that baby came forth. The same way Mary's baby came forth. He said Mary didn't come sex. It didn't come the same way. God, Mary was a virgin. She, she didn't, he didn't have it. He didn't have relationship yes, with Mary until after Jesus was born. Now, I'm going to show you a bunch of precepts. Then we we'll Hebrews after that. We're going to show you in the Bible. We're going to show strong proof. The book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 30. Therefore, being a prophet and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sin. Hold on, you say no? According to the flesh. Hold that. He can say Lord according to the flesh. Hold that. But when you're dealing with God, no, no, give me Hebrews 2. You know, watch this. We're going to prove it. You test me. The Lord is the same thing, bro. So, Perm, watch this. What if it says it? What if it says it and you're wrong? When I read the scripture, are you going to fess up to being wrong? Because he keeps saying according to the flesh. Come on, Hebrews 2. You look at the flesh, yes, Lord. But when you're dealing with God, he's not talking about the law. Now, are you going to humble down when we read this? He's not talking when about When we read this, you're going to humble down and accept what the word God of God says. He's not going to listen. Read 2 16. The book of Hebrews, chapter 2 and verse 16. Bring it out. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. You made a whole big fuss about angels earlier. Was Christ an angel? Was he an angel? Was Christ Jesus an angel? No, he wasn't. He wasn't no angel, right? He was a man, right? Yeah, Read again. Full of the Holy Ghost. But verily he took not on him the nature of angels. But he took on him the seed. The what? The seed 
of Abraham. Read on. He was made of the seed, the spark. Hold on. Hold that. Give me Leviticus 15, 16. We're going to show you what seed means. We're going to show you what we mean, seed. Yes, we is. Leviticus 15, 16. Wrong. 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 We're going to prove it. Leviticus 15, 16. The book of Leviticus, chapter 15 and verse 16. Here's the definition of seed. Read. And if any man seed of compilation, seed of right. sex, right. seed of sex, he was not sperm, born from the seed free. of man, go out from him, then he shall wash all his flesh. I mean, that seed came and got on stuff. You have to wash it off. Right. That's about, it is talking about that. He's not talking Show me where there's a spiritual seed. seed. He's not talking How, about huh? sperm. Yeah, why, why is he called the son of he's man? Asking the flesh. Well, why why is Jesus so called the son of man? God, it's Go not back. no, it's not really right. the book of Hebrews. We're gonna, we're gonna read 16. Is, listen to me. We're gonna read 16, so he's 17. To tell you to ask, every time you say ass in the flesh. Yeah, Looking not at the spirit. The flesh, yeah, is the flesh the spirit? It's a different, it's Bruh, a different you add it to the Bible. The you add stuff that ain't there. You talking about this is a spirit, but we read flesh, flesh, flesh. I know. Every time the book of Hebrews chapter listen 2. Listen to the Bible. Listen to God. In verse 16. But verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things. Hold on. And what thing? Wherefore in all things uh -huh. it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. It means in absolutely everything from having a mother and father. Right. To having worldly flesh. He's not an angel. It behooved him to be made like his brethren in oh, all right. things. Right. All men have right. mothers and fathers. Right. Christ had a mother and father. Right. You know I mean? Come on. The spirit. Where's the Messiah? You add in words that ain't there. Why are you adding words that ain't there? Give me Proverbs 30 and 6. You add words that ain't there. Why? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 1. Bring it up. I myself also am a mortal man, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of ten months, being compacted in blood. Being compacted in blood. This is childbirth. Of the seed of man. That's right. Is that okay. spiritual? Is that spiritual? Is that, okay. that physical? Is that sperm? Is that sperm, Pat? Minister, is that, is that sperm? Yes or no? Is that sperm, sir? He's, he's not sir, is that sperm right there? You don't want to say it. That's what he's talking about. Not right there. He's not talking about sperm. Read verse two again. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh. In the time of 10 months. That's the nine months you're pregnant. Right. Being compacted in blood. That's the whole thing going on in the uterus. Come on. Of the seed of man. It takes sperm to make a man. Right. Read. And of the pleasure that came with sleep. Uh -huh. And when I was born, I drew in the common air. So we was born. Come on. And fell upon the earth, uh -huh. which is like nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying, as others do. And I was nursed with swaddling clothes. It's like Christ was nursed with swaddling clothes. And that with cares. For there is no king. There was no what? There is no king that had any other beginning of birth. What did, what did Solomon oh, just say? Oh, oh, Lord of Lord and king. For there is no king. There is no king. No king of kings that had any other beginning of birth. There is no other beginning of birth for anyone on earth. For all men, what? For all men have one interest into life. And the light going out. So right. all men are born and die the same fashion. That's Christ right. is born right. men. Now let's finish it. Let's watch this right here. This is the book of John, chapter 6, verse 41. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. So they looking at it too spiritual. They say, like, oh, he the bread came out of heaven. What are you talking yeah, about? He's talking about the whole and world. they said. Now you gotta listen, cause this is you. This, you gotta listen. This is a non-believer. Listen. And they said, "Is not this Jesus? Ain't this Jesus the son of Joseph?" And Bible say he the son of Joseph. Three. Whose father? Whose what? Whose father? He ain't got no daddy. Whose father and mother? That's Mary and Joseph. Read. We know. They know his mother and father. He said, I know. Ain't that little Jesus? The son of reading it from the top. He here. And they said, is not this Jesus? Minister. This is Jesus, right? The son of Joseph. Is the Bible lying? Is the Bible lying? Is the Bible lying? First, it's is the, the Bible lying? Is that a lie? Is that a lie? He's, he's First, is that a lie? He's is that a lie? Is that a lie? Is the Bible lying? 
Yes, yes or no? No, I, no the Bible's not. So you're lying. He's so you're lying. What am I lying about? This. Read again. And they said, uh, he's talking is about not Christian this Jesus, Jesus right? this the son of Joseph? God in the Bible, the prophets agree, he's this is the son of Joseph. Of Joseph Whose father, he said, father, he said God, he said, oh, his single parent mom, read, whose father oh, and mother, we know. They ain't talking spiritually. Yes, they said they, they saying the exact opposite. They said this dude trying to call himself the bread from heaven, Bible but I know his daddy. I know Joseph. He over there. I know his mother. She right there. Read. According to Watch the flesh. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is there more? Yeah, keep on. Whose father and mother we know. How is it then that he said, I come down from heaven? There it is. There's an argument. They trying to make it too spiritual. They said, no, no, no. This dude was on earth. We know his mother and father. We talking about bread from heaven. Hey. But we know his parents. Hmm. Well, we what? know Joseph. Bring it out. Now, give me that. So what he's functioning in. Watch this. Wait, did hold Jesus, hold did hold Jesus have brothers and sisters? the spirit? Hold on. You read hold on. Why you still on that. Because one, you said. Why the spirit coming I'm going to show you if you just stop talking. No. No, I don't want to stop talking. talking you don't want to see. You can't even talk to you talking Trinity. You can't even talk to Christianity. Then you understand. Did Jesus have brothers and sisters? You can't understand that. Did Jesus have brothers and sisters? You got me? Did Jesus have brothers and sisters? Oh, you can't understand your doctrine that you learned from the white man will teach you Jesus had no brothers and sisters. My brothers, did Jesus have brothers and sisters? Yes, yes he had brothers. They not. We'll see. In the flesh. Matthew chapter 13, verse 55. But Christianity teaches that Mary was a virgin forever. Don't they? No, he do teach that. Catholicism teaches it. The, no, no, no. Follow well, all your churches. Ain't no lie, because you. you're in them churches. Come on. <laughs> is not this the carpenter's <laughs> son? Hold up. No, he, th th this is true, right? Matthew chapter 13, verse 55. Is not the, the carpenter's son? Is not this the carpenter's son? Ain't this the carpenter's son? Is that true? That Who's the carpenter? Not. According to the flesh, he was the carpenter. Exactly, according to the flesh. They didn't believe he was they, they that didn't believe the That means according to the sperm. Was. According to the sperm, right. that's according Joseph's son. According to the flesh, yes, that's, so that's Joseph's son, right? right? It was so different when he got the spirit. But it's Joseph's son, right? Uh, so Joseph right. laid down with Mary, right? And then Joseph laid down with He laid down with Mary, didn't he? He did. He, he, didn't he just said he did. He didn't pray that mother after Jesus was born. No, he had oh, sex with Mary to bring forth Jesus. Yeah, Read again. He didn't say, he didn't say, is this the carpenter's stepson? Did he say that? This is stepdaddy. Read Matthew chapter 13, verse 55. Bring it up. Is not this the carpenter's son? Ain't this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brother in James and Joseph? Hold on. This is stepbrothers? This is half brothers? Those this is half brothers. Believe. It didn't say half brothers, did it? Those that it's didn't believe were saying that. They didn't even look at And Simon and Judas and his sisters, are they not all with us? Oh, they're not all with right. me. I know them from the neighborhood. That's right. The Pharisees were saying. The Pharisees were saying that. Whence, were saying that. whence then had him. this man all these things? Give me the next one. He said, how this man got all this claim to fame? He's a regular black man. No. He's a regular dude. That's how our people do. They if see some greatness and be like, man, him, we know this dude. They didn't even this dude, understand he come up Jesus in Galilee, man. He, 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 he had a transplant. His own, what you got? And his own believed him not. Brother, does that his mean all people's crucified him because they didn't believe in who did he was? Did nobody believe in Jesus? I didn't say nobody believed. I you said, said he came into his own. All his Christianity. Christianity got a deep root in you. Christianity got a deep root in you. They didn't believe. Brother, in who Jesus Christian, was. The root, it, they did not listen. believe he was the son of God. They, they even called him a wine dealer. So you Before can't read, that, why are you reading what they were saying The about main the problem man? is, I think we have Get to the it, holy part. Hold get, on. To the, get to the spirit. Hold on. I want to hear the spirit. You're going to hear the spirit. No, first and you know, foremost, you're not spiritual. You you read, Romans 7, 14. Romans 7, 14. First and foremost, you're not spiritual. You're not getting it because you're not spiritual. I'm spiritual. You're not spiritual. I'm very spiritual. What does spiritual mean? The spirit, the spirit dwells in me. The Holy Ghost. I'm gonna say what spirit. You can't read that book. About that. The Book of Romans. You can't read that book. The Book of Romans, chapter oh, seven, and verse fourteen. What does the Bible say? Spiritual means. Bring it out. We know that the law is spiritual. Oh, oh, oh. read again. For we know that the law is spiritual. God's laws are spiritual. Yeah, right. we, but I am carnal. When you don't keep God's laws, you carnal. You after the flesh. Sold on the sin. You in the midst of sin when you carnal. Now let's do a sin check real quick and see why you're not getting this. First Corinthians 11 and 3. Bring it up. Bring the cap on your mind. I got it very clear. You'll understand it has a cap on it. There's an upper ceiling on what you can understand. The second blocking 
heaven's guidance on Bring it up. Bring it out. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it up. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Jesus Why? Christ is the head Why? of all Why? men. Why? 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 And the head of the woman is the man. The order of the household, it says man and then woman. Come on. And the head of Christ is God. There's no trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost stuff you talking about. Ain't no Christ trinity. got a head, that's God. So it goes God. It goes Christ. It is no trinity. Man. No such woman. No Read on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. That's y'all two. What? Your head, read again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. Who's your head? So that brother got repentance on the smooth oh, repentance. Oh, Your oh, turn, Pastor. You, I dis I you are dishonoring Jesus God. Christ. Because the Bible coming up. He said any man The Bible coming up. I'm not praying. I always We prophesying. Ain't this prophecy we reading out of the Bible? Who's prophesying? We prophesying. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. If the women of your congregation are listening to the word of God with their head uncovered, isn't that a sin? I understand all of that. Isn't that a sin? Why did that even come in? Isn't that a sin? I'm trying to give you correlation. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. So it's not a sin if a woman is something. listening to the word of God with her head uncovered. He won't listen because he know he cut. He know that's his ass. I'm not you know you a liar. You standing bold and sin with that head covered on one of The book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. If you keep God's commandments. What the commandments going cover your head like my brother did? Instant repentance. Oh, I'm not you praying no prophet saying I got on a hat. I'm not in church. You don't get that mess. Finish it. He family. that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments. You're not keeping the commandments. Matter of fact, give me a favor. How you know I'm not keeping the commandments? Take that mask off, I'll tell you. How you know I'm Take not the mask off. How you know I'm not Take the mask off. I'm going to show you. What mask you talking about? The mask on your face. You got a mask on your shoe then. No, man. Help him out. You Take got a mask on your face, Take How can you say that I want to see if you have a beard. I know the word just like I want to see if you have a beard. Half of that stuff you said. My brother, mister, 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 do you have a beard? You can see. Do you have a beard? No, I don't have a beard. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Thank you for showing me that. Now we're going to introduce yeah. you to your sins. Well, you you know, are the mental sin by not having a beard. I never had one. I'm going to show you. I never had a beard. But you can grow one, can't you? I wasn't born with one. You can grow one. I can see stuff. I see stuff. And you refuse to. Watch what the Bible says. You so on semantics. You gonna call me a sinner? All we saying, but love, I and I, I love this brother. We love this brother. Beard, I'm a sinner. We don't want you to die here because of something sinning like a beard. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter twenty-one and verse five. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Now wait a minute. You got hair on your head, right? You got bald heads. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. That Family is a commandment. That's the black right. man has never been taught that commandment. That's why most of us no, shave our face. I see stubble. You shave, don't oh, you? Yes, you I shave. Did. So I you are in the midst of sin. Right. You are in sin. Right. You are in sin. That's a lie. You are in sin. That's Read it again. That's, That's what the Bible says. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. You are not allowed, no. black man, to shave no. off the corner of your beard. That's all right. no. You cannot shave your head bald. Right. That is a sin. You cannot have your head covered. I Give me Revelations 19 and 10. When the spirit of prophecy is coming out, you talk so much about how Jesus is the spirit. But you got your head covered. If you go to court right now, when you enter into court, would you take off your head? Yes, I take my head. Because the white man is your God. No. Why you take off the hat in court? But you won't do it for the scriptures. That's right. Read that. The, the, the book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 10. Read this is the proof that the prophecy of God is in Christ's words. And that's prophesying. Read. And I fell on his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. This is Christ. I am the fellow servant of thy brethren that have testimony of Jesus. So it said, This testimony of Jesus. Read. Worship God uh -huh. for the testimony of Jesus. The testimony of Jesus. What you read? Is the spirit of prophecy. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. You been getting the testimony of Jesus pounded on your face and you refuse to remove your head. Because you're in the midst of sin. You're in the midst of sin. Hold on. The Bible said God yes. is spirit. Yes. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit uh -huh. and in truth. John 6, 63. Yeah. Give me That's that. Right. Yeah. So now, so wait, hold on. What's the spirit? Baby, hold, hold on. What's the spirit? Right hold on. What's the spirit? You, you, what's the spirit? We can't have you just saying words. You don't know what they mean. The spirit is the spirit of God. That's what does that mean? God that My brother and sister. From heaven what we what we try to teach this pastor in ministry. You don't believe in the Holy Ghost? Yeah. What's the Holy Ghost? Okay. What's the Holy Ghost? It's the law.
<laughs> Thank you, bro. Right. Come here, y'all. Let me ask y'all a question. What I'm trying to say is, look, let's give me wisdom song in one and five. I'm going to show y'all very plainly what the spirit got is. You, you live God. in Durham, right? Like Everybody is from spirit. Durham. Hold on, bro. I'm not I'm not I'm not one spirit. You listen. What's the main problem with black people out here in Durham? We shoot and kill each other, right? Yeah. We murder. What well, we lack? We lack something with a D. We, we lack. Uh, something with a D. It's, a, it's kind of a big word. Dis. Discipline. We, discipline. Watch what the Holy Spirit is. Wisdom Psalm 1 and 5. <coughs> Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it out! For the Holy Spirit. The what? The Holy Spirit Bring. of discipline. Of discipline. Will flee deceit. No, it won't stay in you if you're being deceitful. Holy, that's Christ living in you. Right. He orders your steps so you don't do certain things. Bring Bring and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. When you have dumb thoughts, Christ ain't dealing with you. He's out of you. Read. And will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. Now that's the thing. He said that spirit of discipline will not be in people that are unrighteous. Right. What is unrighteousness? No, see, what is righteousness? God is what is righteousness? Right I'm going to ask you first. Do you know what righteousness is? It's spiritual you right with God. God's righteousness. That's the only righteousness. Hold on, hold on. One at a time. Order, order, order. What's the one? Preacher. Okay, that's fine. Close. The righteousness of God. That's you said righteousness, righteousness of God. What'd you say? What'd you say, my brother? What's righteousness? It's right, obeying the law. Obeying the law. That's right. Let's see. Let's go to the Bible to see. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. Bring it out. And it shall be our righteousness. If we observe to do all these commandments, what's the righteousness? Do all these commandments. Hold on, what's righteousness? No, do all these commandments before the Lord our God as He has commanded us. That's righteousness. What is righteousness? Tell me what he just said. Tell me what he just said. Huh? Doing the commandments. Yeah. So if you don't do the God. commandments, will Christ reside in you? Will he live in you? The Spirit is not going to call For example, that that's question. not steal. I'm going to ask you a question next. That's not steal. If, if you're going out and loot, if it, if it break off tonight, it might. And you go going and start looting and stealing, are you breaking the commandments of God? Yeah. Yes. So Christ ain't dealing with you, right? It's that easy. That's the Holy Spirit. If you're going and robbing, stealing, selling dope, you don't have the Spirit of God. You don't have discipline. It takes discipline for me to see all the people going in that store. And me not want to go with them. That takes discipline. Right, Only Christ right. gives the black man that discipline. That's We've been right. raised to be thieves and unhonest. And church teach, church teach, God's laws are done away with. What, what stops all of that? Keeping God's laws. That's right. Wait a minute, hold it. Wait a minute, hold it. Wait a minute, before you read. No. You say you keeping keep God's laws, which yes. is true. Why are we in this thing in the day? The law was the law for us to see. Let me ask you. You a minister. You've been giving. Let me tell you what the law was. You can't preach me right now because you can't teach me that. I want you to answer this question. The Spirit had to come to help us do the law. Brianna Taylor. The Spirit came to help us do the law. You don't want to talk about Brianna Taylor. Brianna Taylor. We needed his spirit to do the Taylor. That's why Jesus Christ sent his spirit. That's why church can't help us no more. That's right. I'm trying to talk about Brianna Taylor. Something that just happened. You can't give me some answers. It's messed up, right? Why did it happen? Let's deal with some real stuff. We talk about spirit all day. Why? That's what it's all about. It's our ex-boyfriend. Was she a drug dealer? No. Did she deserve to die? No. Then why why are we getting put to death for reasons we don't deserve? Deuteronomy 28, 15. But God knows. No, give me 28, 15. We're going to show you it's directly tied to us breaking God's commandments. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. First and foremost, we are the Israelites, the Bible speaks of. Right. Blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans are God's chosen people. Right. That's and right. we have curses on us. That's why we suffering. That's why Breonna Taylor died, George Floyd died, Ahmaud Arbery died. Because God allowed us to go through these tribulations. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses, the black man, is warning the Israelites if you don't listen to these commandments, what's going To observe to do all his commandments. That's being righteous. Observe to do all the commandments. Read his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, what's going to happen? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, if you don't observe to do all God's commandments, yeah. all these curses yeah. will come on you. Read on. Curse shall thou be in the city. If we were to describe one nation of people in Durham as curse, who would it be? The black people. How about in Detroit? Black people. What about New York? Black people. What about in Florida? Black people. It's everywhere. Every city. Read it again. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. I said, if you don't keep your commandments in every city you are found in, you will be the ones that are cursed. Right? Right. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall be in the field. Who is in the fields? Negro niggas. Black people. Us. That's, that's slavery. 
That's slavery. Give me Deuteronomy 32, 28, 32. No, we ain't doing, we ain't reading all the curses. We're going to jump to a couple curses I know y'all can relate to. 32. Verse 32. Oh, he said COVID-19. We can have next. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now listen to this curse. It said thy sons and thy daughters. That happened. Thy sons and thy daughters. It happened to who? Government come and take and take our kids, right? Yes, not only did it happen, let me show you. Yeah, it happened. No, 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 no. If we say it happened, but then you start saying it might have happened to some other people. And Who did this happen to? Read it again. Happen, it still happened. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What I see is advertisements is cash. Highest price for men, women, and children. This is slavery. This happened to us. But it's in the Bible. Way before it happened. The Bible went thousands of years before this happened. God prophesied that if the Israelites don't listen, They'll be put to a lower state and sell exactly your children to other people. We are spiritual we Israel. We are not spiritual. We're Again, spiritual we are the physical Israelites. That's why black people That's showed up on slave ships without names. Yeah. And we got our slave master name. What was my name before, Pastor? What was our name before? What part of Africa we come from, Minister? You don't have no answers. Because he sent you here. The very white man you talking about sent you here. Come on. That's thy sons right. and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So when you're looking to get your children back, they got Antebellum. You seen that movie Antebellum? They got yeah. 12 Years a Slave. They got Django. And we watch physical representations of what happened in the Bible. The Bible right. described it happening. Right. Keep going. Right. For, for them of all the day long. And th Give me 30, though. Give me 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife. Now I want you to think about this in slavery. He said, you're going to betroth the wife. They let us get married in slavery, didn't they? Yeah. Jump the broom. Yeah. And another man shall lie with her. Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. They have no people. Right. You can say, oh, slavery have no people. Right. What people had their wife taken out middle of the night, brought right. to the master's bed? Right. Black people. Yeah. Us. But God calling us the Israelites in the Bible. Right. Come on. Thou shalt betroth the wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house. And thou shalt not dwell therein. You know that the white house was built by who? The black people. That's we don't right. run nothing. Nope. You know they talking about Obama bringing forth a couple LBGT laws. That had nothing to do with us. That's a little gift to shut you up. Yeah. Give me verse 48. Let's get to the point. Verse 48. What am I showing you? Our condition of who we are. We are at the bottom of society. We are right. the first people. Right. And that's why Breonna Taylor's dying. Right. That's why we got more Breonna Taylor's coming. Right. George right. Floyd's getting their knee in the neck. And people are sitting there debating about whether or not we're a person. Where are we a man? Doing it. They, still doing they still doing it. It's yeah. a secret. People dying and doing it right now. They just want to put on TV. Read. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Bring watch this. This is what the church don't teach. I'm sorry. I know you want to love your people, but you don't know to teach this. But it's real. Therefore, shall thy serve thy enemies. God called them your enemies. The people you're under oppression by. That's right. He don't call them white people. What do you say? Therefore, shall thy serve thy enemies. Yeah. The people that did this to you are your enemies. Right. Friends don't sell friends into slavery. Yeah. Friends don't beat people to worship a white image of Jesus. Read. Which the Lord shall send against me. God sent them against so it's not even their plan. We're not mad at them like that. It's not their plan. No, Jesus, is black. Yeah. Jesus is black, yeah. I thought Jesus is white. You hold up. Yeah, hell oh, hold up. Hey, man, hey, 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 no We're gonna get that next. We're gonna get that next. Keep reading. See, don't go nowhere, son. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemy. I'm gonna show you why you think Jesus is white. Come here, come here, come here. What's your name? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why we think Jesus is white. I mean, all y'all close your eyes right now and I say Jesus, I know what he's gonna look like. Close your eyes. Jesus, what do you look like? Did you see that dude pop up? You, that, you saw him, right? That's a whole brainwash. Because it's been beating to our eyes with pastors of Christ and yeah. commercials and yeah. the Bibles and in your church, y'all got a big image of Caesar Borgia. Keep reading. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee. This is Mercedes. God sent enemies against the Israelites. Watch what they're going to do. And hunger. He said for food, you got to serve your enemies. Now, if I was a food right now, I'm looking for food lion. I'm looking for Walmart, right? Harris Teeter. Who owned them things? White folks. White folks. If we don't like the food in there, can we change it? No. No, we eat that plastic vegetable, right? That's and in thirst. If you want water in your house, you have to pay a white water bill. Who money? Is it going to Bobo down the street? Who the it's going to Sarah. It's going to Sarah. It's going to Becky. It's going to Karen. 
spree and in nakedness. All of us got clothes on there. I see you got a nice anime t shirt. I bet you ain't making it. Who made it? White people. White folks. This is the enemy got called. Free. And in want of all things. In want of what? And in want of all things. So he touched on a couple of easy stuff. He said anything. Your school. Who set up the school? White folks. That's kindergarten. First thing you learn is Christopher Columbus discovered right. America. Yeah. That's a damn lie. He ain't discovered nothing but slavery. He took 500 slaves out of Hispaniola and sent them back. That's the first thing he did. It's in his diaries, but they don't teach it. They got Columbus Day to this day. Because what? Black people ain't standing up and reading. They tell you in the Bible what's going on. Read on. And in want of all things. Full religion. Full religion. When you want to worship a God, the white man says, I'll provide you a God. Here he is. It's me. Surprise. Pray to me. That's what he do. Behind the curtain is him. Teacher. Right, in it, exactly. In, in 1619. Oh, yeah, please show me that. Look at that. Man made religions. Which are you? Are you Baptist? Because there's your God. Are you a Mormon? There's your God. Seven day Adventist? She's your God. Jehovah's Witness, Charles T. Russell. He got all Jehovah's Witnesses' churches. He set them up. Pentecostal. Are you Pentecostal? None of those names. You know that? You know that? None of those names. There's your God. Those are man made names. There's a man made religion. None of these religions are in the Bible. None of these religions are in the Bible. Even Islam brought to you by the white man. Delusional. Uh, yes, he is. Is. Is, is, but we love our brother. Christianity is worse than crack. It's worse than crack. And in want of all things. That's your religion was provided to you by that white man. And your preachers are provided to you by the white man. You must go to their seminary schools, get their doctrines, get their approval to preach the image of white Jesus. That's what you got. You got the white man's silver approval to teach lies. Come on. And in want of all things. And he. No, I want you to listen. Where is it at? You're not talking spirit. And he will do what? That's and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This ain't spiritual. This physically happened. Joseph right. Iron will put on our necks in 1619. Joseph Iron in 1492 will put on the Hispanics' necks. But we read it in the Bible about the Israelites. Right. Read it again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What the hell is happening to white people? What has happened to the Asians? What has happened to the Arab men? It never happened. It happened to the Israelites who lost their names. Three. Until he have destroyed thee. You have Yosef iron on your neck until you're mentally destroyed. So that's the delusion. The delusion of Yakuza is being destroyed. The yoke stay on you like a dog. The dog don't run away if you keep on the leash long enough. He messed up. Now he just thinks the yard is as big as it goes. That's your past. That's your Christianity. The yoke been on his neck so long now when he come off, he don't know to go nowhere else. He don't know to read nothing else. Give me 68. Love my friend minister. Where are slave ships in the Bible? Where are slave ships in the Bible? Slave ships? The slave ships we came over on. Give me the sign. If the Bible's real. Because we got to. Yeah, I'm oh, trying to fight for the Bible. The Bible's real. The Bible's real. I'm about to say The Bible's real. But we got to prove it. Our people don't believe because we're giving white Jesus. They lied with the Bible. Right. How can we prove we the Bible is real? Oh, prove to me the Bible is real. Show no me where Jesus. in the Bible there's slave ships. No white Jesus. You, I gave you one test. That's right here. That's you got right one Jesus. job. You where got in the all. Bible? Where in the Bible is slave ships? Where in the Bible is what happened to us in 1619? Where is it? If God is real and you're a pastor, you real. should be able to show me where God slave ships is, is in the Bible. Don't you don't know nobody. You ain't no pastor. You can't teach nobody now. Hey, 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 we hey, the prophets of God going to show you slavery in the Bible. Give me it. it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Hold on, before we read it, give me one and one. Hold on. Hold on. Why don't we get your question next? Right now, we're going to show you these slave ships. Right now, we're going to show you who the whole Bible written to. It ain't written to everybody. One and one. Deuteronomy chapter two, uh, 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who was Moses speaking to? Spake unto all Israel. Not the whole planet? Oh, Israel. Moses is always speaking to Israel at this point. That's right. He's always speaking to Israel. Go to 28 You don't know. So you listen, if you don't know, you got to shut up and listen. Who told you ears. You got two ears, one mouth. That's what I get. And all the energy is getting used in your mouth right now. Focus the energy. Reallocate. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Listen to this. King James Bible. Speak what the Bible says. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Hold on. I don't want to lose nobody. What does Egypt mean? 
Nobody know. It just means bondage. Ooh. We all know that. That's a no. Everybody don't know that. Let's prove it. I, I Accident chapter 20 and verse 2. What we're doing now. To teach y'all, we're going to a precept yeah, to prove yeah, what yeah. Egypt means. We don't need to go to another book. We'll show you in the Bible. Right. Exodus 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. God brought Israel out of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. What is Egypt? House of bondage. bondage. So what does Egypt mean? House of bondage. House of bondage. Stop talking. You're going to learn how to teach if you watch me. You said you're going to show me what slaves That's the house of bondage. bondage. Now let's go back. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Watch this. Now we're going to show you slave shit. That's right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Hold on. What does Egypt mean? Bondage. Bondage. Again yeah. with ships. With what? Okay. With ships. With what? Yeah. With ships. Yeah. That's ships. No Your people went into slavery, Maybe bondage, about slave with ships. ships. It's going to say it. Show, show the words. People with ships. Stuff it, it, it says ships. That's what it says. Bible ain't saying no slaves. Come here. What did that say right there? No slaves. It says ships. He don't want you to see. He don't want you to see. Is he a what? He's the devil with the Bible. Yeah. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. God said, you know, I know Oh, listen, 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 y'all. You're missing what God says. Read again. By the uh, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Not fantasy fruit uh, cruise line. This is cargo slave ships. This is stacked on one another. God said this is the ultimate judgment. This is the last verse in Deuteronomy 28. This is the last curse mentioned in Deuteronomy 28. This is the big one. Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. The yokes of iron, your, uh, your children being given to other people. He said, by those fashions is how I'm going to put you in slavery this time. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. That it is your homeland. You'll never see your homeland again. When you've been back to Africa, you haven't. What part of Africa are you from? I asked him earlier. He has no idea. Him. I asked him. I said, what part of Africa are you from? Hell no, he don't know what part of Africa he's from. What part are we from? I ain't never been We are from, hold that, we're getting the Bible. He said, what part are we from? That's how we are from. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Minister, ask me a question, I'm going to answer. What part of Africa are we from? Here's the answer. But Jerusalem, we are from where? Jerusalem, which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. The motherland is Jerusalem. That's right. Jerusalem, where we at? And Jerusalem also, is right New Jerusalem here. Y'all see that? That little the tiny point? Area. What's the name of this continent? Africa. Africa. So where Jerusalem at? Is it in Africa? No. Yes, that's the Africa. It's right next to Egypt. You can't. See. Is that bigger map? I see. Yeah, it's right there. Right? You see me? Yeah. Africa right here. Yeah. yeah. So you gonna call this something different? This is Africa right here. Egypt is right next door. That we walk away from Egypt. We walked out. Y'all remember that? You can go from Jerusalem to Egypt by walking. That's Egypt is in Africa. There's no such continent as Middle East. There are not eight continents. Bring it up. All the people know that they're not eight continents. Right. All that is still. Africa. Yes, right. right. We are from that part, Northeast Africa. We migrated to the other parts of Africa among other dark people. And we lived there. Right, after right. we were destroyed in 70 AD when Jerusalem fell. This is the prophecy about Jerusalem falling and our eventual servitude to the so-called white man. Yes, so right, listen carefully. Right. Thou shalt see it no more again. You won't see Jerusalem, your homeland again. And there, there is the home here. And there, this is here. We got them ships. He shall be sold unto your enemies. Oh, hold on. Hey, hold on. Listen. Listen. Read again. And there he shall be sold unto your enemy. God said, and there, when you get off the ships, you'll be sold to who? Unto your enemies. Now, wait a minute. I'm, I got to show the signs so you can see it. That's right. When you get off the ships, you'll be what? Sold unto your enemies. That certainly happened to us. We got off ships. And we got off ship. It was nigga, nigga, sold to Master Charles. Yeah, it was, it was. Right. That's what happened off the ships. Yeah. Read. For bond men. For bond men, slave men. And bond women. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. No man set you free. That's what no man buy you means. Really? That's a Quaker word that means redeem you. Buy your freedom. I mean, you're not released. You're not going to do right. slavery for six, seven years. You're a slave for life. And all your children are slaves. Really? And that's God's judgment on the black man and the Hispanic man. That's, right. that's, that's right. what happened to us. And church does not teach that because church was set up by the white man right. to keep us asleep. They don't, they don't teach to not teach us the way out. Because we went into slavery for breaking God's commandments. Yeah, right. We went on ships because we broke God's laws. Right. Do you understand that? So how do we get out of slavery? I'm going to show you why. Give me Zechariah 11 to 5 again. Breonna Taylor, I'm going to show you why you want to get out of slavery. Some people like being slaves. I want to get out. I Some people like being slaves. 
But I'm gonna show you what happens when you're a slave. Zechariah 11 and 5. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Bring it up. Hear why you don't want to be a slave no more. Whose possessors slay them? If you're a slave, you got a possessor. You got an owner, right? That's yeah. Right. Read it. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty? God said in the last days, your possessors going to slay you. Right. And do what? And hold themselves not guilty. What was Breonna Taylor's verdict? Not, not guilty. Really? That's in the Bible, though. Okay. If nobody else can relate to that. Oh, what a Jewish man that can relate to that. Them Jewish people are not the Jews. Right. They right. stole our identity and living in our land. That's our land. Right. The so-called white man said he is not guilty. You gotta listen. I'm trying to teach you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Read again. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. I want you to listen. Who? Read verse 4 so he know who you're talking about. I'm trying to teach this pastor how to be a pastor. That's right. Zechariah chapter 11 right. verse 4. Thus said the Lord, my God, feed the flock of the slaughter. Feed, listen, feed the flock of the slaughter. That's the Israelites. Read. Who's possessed? The Israelites whose owners. Do what? Slay them. The people that own us and got, what's your last name? Irvin. Is that a African last name or is that a white man's last name? That's your owner. That's your name badge. That's the receipt for your purchase. That last name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, that's what it is. What's your last name? Elementar. That is a white man's last name, isn't it? Is that an African? No. No. That kept me oppressive. We We're going to show you. Finally, you ask the question that matters. Keep reading. <laughs> and hold themselves <laughs> oh, not guilty. And they that sell them. Hold on. Listen, listen, listen. And they that sell them say, they that sell them. That's the so called white man that sold us. What did they say? Say, blessed be the Lord. What did they say? Blessed yes. be the Lord. When they sold us a slavery, they said, Blessed be the Lord, but they're talking about him. Yes, That's what right. they did. Right. What was the slave ship called? The good ship Jesus, the first one. Bring it up. They called the good ship Jesus. They're talking about this dude. Right. And they say, Blessed be the Lord. Why? Right. Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. Yes. Said, I am rich. Yes. That's the so called yes. Jesus said, I am rich. Read. And what else? And their own shepherds. You. You are our shepherd, oh, supposed to be. Oh. Pity them not. Yes. Our own people, our own oh, black leaders, don't pity our own people. Yes, yes. They only come out, you That's only come people. out when Trump, when uh, Al Sharpton, or who else? Jesse Jackson, you only come out for money. You only come out when it's a political stunt. You only come out with the cameras rolling. But when we shoot each other in the street, the black leaders ain't nowhere to be found. Oh, we got problems with drugs. I'm going to show you. You got to listen. Don't rush me. You're getting taught. Class in session. Read it. Read it Lamentations chapter 2 and verse 14. Read it listen. Watch it. The prophets, thy prophets, have seen vain and foolish things for thee. He was saying, how do we get out? He said, our current prophets, the black leaders we have today, in these churches that were set up by the white man. What did he do? Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. He said, they seen vain and foolish things for thee. Right. That's Christmas. Why are we in church learning about Christmas? They pushed Christmas, Christmas out of camp. 20 some Christmases, and we ain't got our slavery yet. Sometimes we, Christmas ain't pleasing to God. That's not getting us delivered. Halloween's coming up. Who celebrated Halloween? The direct worship of the devil. Does the church do it? They call it Saints Day. They do. Holy Day. Holy Day. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah, I'm glad you changed your answer because you know they're pushing that dog on garbage. Right. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the celebration of the slaughter of the Native American Indians. That's how it started. They did it. They didn't do it once a year. They did it monthly. They said, we're doing it too much. We got to roll it back to just once a year. Say what? See, that brother right there, he's actually getting like and he said he looked like that. And then they celebrate Columbus Day and Thanksgiving in honor of murdering our brothers right there. Keep going. Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 14. Any man made and pushed by the church. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. And the church has seen vain, foolish, lying stuff for us. And they have not discovered thy iniquity. You understand what he's saying right there? He said they see all this dumb stuff, Easter, all that garbage, New Year's, your birthday, all that is not in the Bible to do. They don't tell you to do that in church. Right. But they don't tell you where we were going off. Right. We broke God's commandments. Right. Men are dressing like women today. Yeah. Women is dressing like men today. Bring it out. You understand that? Those things are what we found. Men are shaving off their beard. We dealt with the brother earlier. You're supposed to have a beard on your face with your man. I know you ain't growing one. That brother convicted. I know you can't grow one yet. But if you need to hold that. He said that in the Bible. He said say that in the Bible. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you one. Say it, sis. 
round out the corners of your beard. Yes, but I yeah, tell you, you're right, I, though. Everybody a man's supposed to have a beard. A lion is supposed to have a mane. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. 21 and 5. 21. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Listen to it. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beards. See, I got a beard. My beard ain't perfect. His beard ain't perfect, but we grow what we got. That's right. Why? Because God said, don't shave it off. He didn't say you had to have it. Read again. Nor make it. Oh. They shall not make. Hold on. What did he say? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He said he didn't say that. Read what God said. They shall not. Ain't that a commandment? He said, they shall not. That's a commandment. That's an order. Make baldness upon their head. I said you ain't supposed to be bald. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shave off the corner of your beard. You shave your beard. You shave your beard. Do you shave your beard? Look at your mouth. You got the devil on you, bro. Look at your mouth. You couldn't even spoil words. You got the damn devil on you. Nor make any cutting in their flesh. That's tattoos. You ain't supposed to make no cuttings in your flesh. I see you got tattoos. I got one too. I got one too, but guess what? I'm not getting no more. I ain't getting my back done. Because now I know better. So now you wrong because you got one? I'm repenting. What's the difference between me and you? I, I repent it, huh? I never had it. That's fine. You ain't going in, no. If you keep getting it, you're going to get a judgment. But now that you know, you ain't supposed to keep doing it. That's called repentance. Now you know it, you don't continue to do it. What you got? Come here. Lamentations chapter 2 and verse 14. You understand that? So many of us used to do some vain, nasty things. But you just shave their beard. Stop. Shaving your beard. That's right. He said no. So you're gonna die. God is gonna take. God's gonna do it. Take it through. Got one around the corner. I never had one. Did he say that he's not supposed to shave his beard? Did the Bible say that? So what's he doing? He said don't round the corners of your. He shaved his beard. So what is he doing? I don't. He's sinning, right? Yeah. Y'all know what sin is? Yeah. Yeah. What's your question? You first John. You gonna say all this? I ain't heard you say nothing about Jesus Christ yet. What if your hair's falling out? Give me that real quick. Excellent question. That's what you should be asking. What if you can't grow a whole beard? What if your hair's falling out? Watch this. Leviticus chapter 13 verse 40. Stop saying go to hell. Because hell, we in hell now. This is hell right now. There's no fiery hot place in the ground. That's Greek mythology. Hell's a hot hell. No, he's in hell right now. And he worships hell. Yeah, there's heaven. There's hell. There's hell. Hell is a condition. So it's heaven. Heaven means rulership. Hell means you at the damn bottom. And we'll go into that next. Let me answer her question. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 40. And the man whose hair is falling off his head. This is a question right here. Read again. And the man whose hair is falling off his head. He is bald, yet he is clean. But you're clean. That's not sin. Your hair ain't fall off your face. You use the razor to remove it. You are rebellious. Now go to First John. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. This is sin what you're doing. And I'm telling you it's out of love. Shaving your beard is sin. For sin is the transgression of the law. Transgression means break. Read again. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. So if you break God's laws, that means you sin. If you run the speed limit and break it, that's a crime. Same correlation. What's your question? Some people say like eating pork and playing football is a sin. Is that true? Let's see what the Bible says. You eat pork? I do. You eat pork? You eat pork? You eat pork? You eat pork? Okay. Let's just see what the Bible says. I know what the old Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7 and the swine what swine? Just pee. What did Jesus say? And the swine though he divide the hook and be cloven footed yet he cheweth not the cut. So he has some certain features. Read. He is unclean to you. The pig is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. That's didn't know that, but you ain't supposed to eat them. And their carcass shall ye not touch. He said you ain't supposed to touch their dead bodies. They are unclean to you. They are not clean to you. Jesus Jesus shall, hold on, he said it's old. Go to the end. Jesus, no, 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 no. Jesus, no, no. So this is an old Bible. This is a prophet. Let him look. Leviticus. You really don't listen to the brother that can't even keep a beard. Come on, man. Read. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 46. This is the law of the beast. This is the law of the beast. What we're reading is the law of the beast. And of the fowl, and of every living creature that moveth on the waters, and the every creature that creepeth upon the earth. This is the law concerning all the animals. To make a difference between the unclean and the right. clean. God is making a difference between right. unclean. They're all good animals. Right. I mean, they all got a purpose. Right. But there's, yeah, you don't eat. If I drop dead right now, minister, can you eat me? 
Can you pray? Can you pray over my body and eat me? But brother, you said Jesus. But brother, you said Jesus. I like you. You said Jesus. Can you eat monkey? Can you eat monkey? You eat monkey? Can you eat monkey according to God? Can you eat some monkey? Can you eat monkey according to God? Can you eat monkey I'm not asking about them. Can you pray over monkey and eat it according to God? You know it's no. What their problem is, he like pork. What we do as people, we have sins we like, and we'll make a way to do it. I did not know we'll that. We'll find an excuse. Yeah, you didn't know, so now guess what you got to do? Never eat pork again. Give me shrimp. Verse 9. Finish. Verse 47. To make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. So we have to make a difference. And God did it. He said make a difference between what may be eaten and what may eat. He will remind me a lot of my problems. He brought the same scripture. Acts 10. So sis, you understand that, right? That's not just pork. I'm going to be vegan. Let me show you a correlation. Give me Leviticus 18. Let me ask you this. He says it's old, right? Now watch this. Can we be homosexual? No. Can we be homosexual? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Why did God say to Peter when he stripped the net from heaven? Creatures here. What did he I'm not talking to the demon. I'm talking to the guy I, inside the demon. The <laughs> what, what did, can we be homosexuals today? Oh, yeah. Can we be homosexuals today? Can we be homosexuals? Yes. No, that's an can abomination we? against God. Ain't that in the Old Testament? Bring it back again. I thought that old stuff don't count no more. Go to Leviticus 18. Bring it. Chapter 18, verse 22. We've been reading out this chapter all day, this book, but now it counts. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Too. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. So we read it's an abomination in the Old Testament because that's the laws of God. The same place you read you can't have your head shaved or your beard shaved. Bring it up. Or eat pork. That's why That's why the community don't listen to pastors because they're hypocrites. They'll say no homosexuality and to be chewing on pork chop that night. Nobody wants to listen to no hypocrite. Come on. What you got? Give me that about church. Yeah, don't go to church. Yeah, don't go to church. No. Stop going to church. These Christian churches ain't about nothing. They're about getting your money. You know what I want? Yes. Revelations chapter 21 and verse 27. So remember, he said being homosexual is abomination. Yes. Come on. And this is Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. And there shall in no wise enter into it. This is the gates of heaven. Now it's not up there. Heaven will be on earth. It's rulership on the planet. Black people will rule the earth again. Yes, and we'll have 12 gates into our kingdom and it'll be set up on earth. We're gonna make the heathen gonna make it. Don't just say it like it's called Yeah, it's New Jerusalem, it's gonna be on earth. Right, and if you don't repent, you ain't gonna be there. That's yeah. right. And there shall no wise enter into it anything that defileth. You can't go into Jerusalem if you're defiling, neither whatsoever worketh abomination. You can't go in, go back to Leviticus 11, if you work of abomination. So you can't be homosexual. Right. Guess what else you can't, can't do? Just Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it and the swine, though he divide the hoof and be clover footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. I want you to jump down to verse 10. Now watch this. This is about fish. And all that have not fish. This is very important. It's in Leviticus, the book that you have read. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers and all that move in the waters and of any living things which is in the waters. So if it, the, the things in the waters don't have fins and scales, what is it? They shall be an abomination unto you. What is it? They shall be an abomination unto you. Eating uh, crab, for example. Crab? Yeah, crab. You look like I'd have killed somebody. Crab, shrimp, lobster. Whoa, whoa, Beef is fine. So you cannot eat shrimp, right? What? Crab, crawfish. Those are bugs. Those are underwater bugs. A crab is a spider that's underwater. A crab is a spider that's underwater. If you crack open a crab and you crack open a real big spider, the same meat is inside. Boy can swim. Do you eat spiders? So don't eat. Chinese people eat spiders. Maybe you want to eat spiders one day. God calls it an abomination. You can't eat food. That's what it is. Is it more? This is good. Jesus said one thing. He said, Be ye holy for I am Verse 10. And all that have no fins and scales in the sea. Verse 11. They shall be even an abomination unto you. They said, These fools shall be what? They shall be even an abomination unto you. These fools are an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh. This is what we did in the wilderness with Moses. We had a brother, like my brother here, saying, You can eat what you want. And we lost the kingdom of God. 
That's right. We lost the kingdom of God. That's what happened. We broke all the commandments and God said slave ships for you. Bring it out. Because you want to eat what you want. You want to be in homosexuality. You want to worship this image of Jesus. Because nowhere in the Bible does it say you, huh? That's the only image I knew. Let's go to, oh, we forgot that. We forgot that. That's the only image I knew. Now, 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 back to, I got to put him on front street. Because, give me Micah 3 and 11 before you get in. Because I want y'all to disassociate yourself from the black church. The black church is about making money. The black church is about making money. Y'all ain't helping nobody do nothing. Where the hell are y'all in these streets? Why ain't y'all here teaching up people to stop killing each other, stop gangbanging, stop eating unclean food? You don't teach that, though. You go and sit your comfortable church in the pews making money off black people. Taking poor grandmas and grandpas' money and sending your child's money to the white bank that's gentrifying Durham, that's gentrifying Raleigh. They get it from these black churches. How come the worst neighborhoods got all the black churches on every corner? They do. You're not lying. Why? They're not helping nothing. They set up to destroy the black community. Read what you got. Micah chapter 3 and verse 11. Let's address, let's address the black churches. We're here in the Bible, the black church. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. That's the black church. They judge for reward, and they teach for hire. And the prophets, the what? And the prophets thereof divine for money. They do what they do for money. Do you see a bucket out here for us? No. We don't want your money. I'll let your money blow in the breeze. Go to his church. He got three plates. I bet you we don't. How many plates you got? I bet you we don't. Just one? The envelopes? You got a box? We got it. You got online now, right? Online. I got you. You can do a direct debit. What about Pantons? Let's go to Pantons. Before we get that, before we get that, lie. Let's get Christ. No, I want to hear about Jesus. Come on, come on. He's free. Through him, we are free. You ain't said nothing. Your question, your question is next. Let's hear about Jesus real quick. How, who we worship. I'm about to talk about Jesus. Man, we about to talk about Jesus. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. You want to talk about Jesus? You about to talk about Jesus right here. The revelation of Jesus. Of who? The revelation of Jesus. Christ. Of who? Of Jesus Christ. I'm about Jesus. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So John received his revelation. Read. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And of all things that he saw. I wanted to get to that because that last part. All things that what? That he saw. All things that John saw. So what John saw, what did he do with it? Verse 3. Verse 3. Blessed is he that read it. So what did John do? He wrote down these words. John wrote down what he saw. Go to verse 13. John wrote down who he saw. He saw somebody. And in the verse 13, and oh, wait, give me verse 10. Verse 10. I am I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John said he was in the spirit in the Lord's day. What's the Lord's day? Today. The Sabbath. Right. And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. So he heard behind him a great voice, a powerful voice, a booming voice. Read. Verse 11 saying I am Alpha and Omega This boy said I'm Alpha and Omega The first and the last And what thou seest And his commandment was what you see Right in a book So he told John write down Whatever you're about to see He behind him right my sister You listen so John was instructed By this whoever this is Whatever you see when you turn around Right now read that part again Verse 11, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And we know who that is. That's Jesus, right? And what thou seest, write in a book. He said, write down what you're about to see. 13. Verse 13, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks. He saw seven candlesticks. One, that's the menorah. Y'all ever seen a menorah? Yeah. Come on. One, like unto the son of man. Son of what? The son of man. Not the son of an angel, the son of man. Christ. Who is the son of man? Jesus Christ. Come on, bro. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So if you were instructed to write down what you saw, you're gonna write down he's got a garment down to his foot. You see his garment? Yeah. Same way. It's not a dress, it's a garment. It goes That's down to his feet. Yeah. That's what Christ wore. Read. And girt about the paps. Girt about the paps is down here. With a golden girdle. So he had a girl a belt, basically. That's a golden girdle. Come yeah. on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Oh, now this ain't in church. Let's look at it. What's what's in church? This is in church. His hair and his hair Bring it up. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The color and texture of Jesus' hair was white and woolly, so like a sheep. Image. Why do they show this image? Bring it up. Let's ask him. Bring it up. Why do y'all show that image? That's the magic word, image. But it ain't here. 
Well, it's not him. He looks just like me. How you know he looked like this? Well, how you know he looked like this? He never had hair. Like he he like never said that in his image. Why can't we see him? Well, we know that. His hair. And it is hers. Who? White. Light. Again, no one had a Polaroid of Jesus. We're not claiming to have one. This is an artist renditioning of what we read in the Bible. We see sheep's wool on his hair, right? This is sheep's wool. This is white, right? My sister, this is white, right? This is white woolly hair, right? Or is this white woolly hair? This is not white woolly hair. Keep reading. As white as snow. White as snow. I'm not seeing that here. No, they don't. No, they don't. See, see, he's saying we know that, but the sister says she never knew that. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes as a flame of fire. Why? Because he's drinking wine. Because he's drinking wine. Let's prove it. Jesus 49 That's true. You give me Matthew 11 after that. He wasn't no drunk. No, he won't drunk. Well, come here, come here. Listen. Listen, he won't drunk. He won't drunk. I had a question. So, in church, why they give us that little cookie and that wine stuff? They, I want to use nice words. Woo, they are misguided. Yeah. The church is misguided. This is nice as I can get. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 12. They in hell. They in hell. They were set up by hell. His eyes shall be red with wine. Who got an uncle that like to drink? Hey, everybody, right? What color of white is his eyes turn? Red. Red. So Jesus, like wine, let's prove it. Matthew 11. Bring it out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 19. Now we're in the New Testament talking about Jesus. Remember his first miracle, he turned water into wine. So they pour all that stuff out when he got finished. Uh, he it out. They drunk it. Him and the disciples, everybody was drinking wine. It's a sin to be drunk. But watch what they say. The son of man. The what? The son of man. You call him the son of man. Bring it up. Right. Came eating and drinking. Say, man came eating and drinking. And they say, and then they started to say this about him. Behold, a man gluttonous. They say, yeah, he's eating all the time. He's gluttonous. And a wine bibber. They call Jesus a what? A wine bibber. See, they saw him drinking and they wanted to up what he's doing. They saw him eating. They said, oh, he's gluttonous. They saw him drinking wine. They said, oh, he's a wine bibber. But he drank wine. That's the proof. Jesus drank wine. That's the proof. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Hold on. We're going to get that next. Listen, listen. You understand that, though? He drank wine. Go back. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Wool is the texture of black people here. Straight up. As white as snow. It can't be this guy here. Can't be. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank wine. And I don't see no red flaming fire eyes on this dude. It's not there. But his eyes are his red. Over this, this, again, this ain't a, this ain't a complaint of Jesus. We couldn't do that. But this is an image of what's in the Bible. That's right. His eyes are red. Hair is woolly. Read on. And his feet. Like. Unto fine brass. I see your feet. I can see your ankles. They same colors the rest of your body, right? Uh, right. Everybody's feet same colors the rest of their body, right? That's right. Read again. His feet. And his feet like unto fine brass. His skin color was brass. Brass. Like a penny. Like a bullet. What color is that? Brass is what color? Brown. Brown. Oh, look. Look at that. Brown. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. When you take this penny, not only do you have it, like right now, you barely tell, right? Yeah. Take this and burn it. Read again. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. If I took a lighter out right now and lit this on fire, what color would it be? Is it going to be lighter or darker? Dark. So what's Jesus? Dark. Dark. Yes, that's that's right. Right. Wesley Snipes ain't got nothing on him. That's He's dark. So where does white dude come from? Where did white dude come from? Oh, now you done figured it out. Why is it in your church? Have you gotten out of your church yet? Yes. Does it matter what he look like? Does it matter? Does it matter what he look like? This right here, we don't even. So if Jesus was a dark skinned man, we don't have images. What is his nationality? He was a black man. No. They didn't have black men back then. What was his nationality? What was his nationality? He was all a dark race. He said what? There are niggas in the Bible, but that's not what he called it. Give me, he said Israelite. Let's get uh, Hebrews. It matters because we see a man that looked like us, right? He's the king of kings, the savior of everybody, right? So we've been taught. 
So we've been taught. So we've been taught. What do you mean about it? We've been taught he's the savior of everybody. You don't believe, you don't believe Jesus? I don't believe the Bible says. Give me 714. Jesus, what? This is the book of Hebrews. Oh, don't, don't go nowhere. No, 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 no don't go nowhere. What he said. Oh, Matthew 121. No, no, come here. Don't come here. He might have a damn heart attack. <laughs> white, white man can't get saved. Christ, Christ. Not my Jesus. 121. Book of Matthew, chapter 1. Where's the Savior? First, but who did he come to save? The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people. All people? His people. Jesus Christ going to save his people. That's right. From their sins. From our sins. Who's his people if he's looking like this? Burke. Us. That's why he don't want to hear that. That means his master can't get saved. Right. If master can't get saved, party over for him. He got to go. He don't know all lives matter. But Jesus ain't teach no all lives matter. Jesus taught Israelite lives matter. That's right, boy. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.